Hello everyone. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to our brand new live tutorials. Hello Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you all have a fabulous day. I believe we are like scheduled today so then we can able to do a 3D flowers using a 40 gels hope you all have a fabulous day hey china how are you hi skyla thank you so much for tuning in let me send really quick hey tyra how are you how are you Hey China, thank you so much everyone for tuning in. If you are just tuning in, today we are going to do this really cool fun is a 4D, uh, using a 4D gels, we are going to create a 3D flowers. So if you are already prepped some of your nails, we can able to get started. And I have four nails in actually in the white color so then we can able to practice i'm gonna using is fusioning as a background you are definitely can do fusioning as well or if you already have on a solid color it's gonna be amazing as well hi i'm i come south hello i'm doing well thank you tyra hola hola freaky hello how are you happy thursday thank you so much everyone for tuning in I'm going to like try to say hi to everybody before. Hello, CC. How are you? Thank you so much for tuning in. I just don't want to miss everyone. Um, all right, great. So let's get started. We are going to need like these two as we we're talking about. We are going to do is sweet orange. These two colors and is emerald. So one from... The first 12 colors of 40 gels and the other is uh, um, the second, which is the number, I mean the new set of 40 gels. So only you need to do is one color or two color or whatever colors 40 you have. And then what we're going to need is a 3D brush, a dual and 3D brush, but I'm going to using most of this and with this perfect silicone design for ours is 40 gels. And I'm going to using a thinking green for us. A lot of you just have the uh, traditioners of your um, fusionings collection. We're gonna use thinking green and a welcome hugs. Hey, Nay, how are you? Hey, Nest Nails, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Hello everyone, just want to say hi, wave back to each of you and to make sure. Okay, so now we are going to using these two colors and I only need the crystal clear. And for all of you first time tuning in, welcome to Glitter Sister and Such. It's live tutorials brought to you every day except Sunday from a Glitter Sister and Such page and don't forget to also follows our BA team. They are so talented and dedicated. They will definitely love to share and love to see you tuning in and they can share all the beautiful tips and tricks. And also, this is just four nails that I did uh, yesterday. I'm so excited and it's really fun to create this look. If you miss this four designs that we did last night, definitely you can tune um, in, turn on, or you can even watch replays from our IGTV or our Facebook videos or our YouTube. Hello, Tracy. Hi, Nene from Facebook. Hello, Ruth. Oh, hello. First time, welcome to our live tutorial. Thank you so much for tuning in. Great. So this is that um, four nails. We using like a fusionings, a blossom gels, a blossom gel and encapsulate glitter. And also we do all different is crystal placement charms and uh, 
all the metal charms and crystal as well so it's really fun to create this one so hope you really like it like you know as much as i do so then we're gonna move right into the, this content today we're also going to start with uh fusioning and then we go from there hello nick hello a million dollars nail is right skylar looks so stunning right hello nick how are you so let's get started i did two coat of uh number 25 pure white from glitz collections gel collection and two coat and after that keep for 60 seconds i did the matte top coat just have it right here right in my hand and apply one coat Kia four so I did one coat of a matte top coat and Kia for 60 seconds you want to use this matte top coat is compatible with our fusionings um, concept so then it will grab your uh, fusioning is so much better and it creates really stunning uh, designs for you Oh, that's awesome, Nick. So I'm going to do a thinking green and then welcome, welcoming hugs. So I have a little piece of paper right here and then you are going to add it on. Tap. If you want to be dogger definitely you can let it set for just a second hey mama Vic how are you we are going to add the welcoming hug and then you can do right on the top I want to be it's on the side so then I can able to get the two colors separate all right let it set make sure you close all of your bottles of fusion ink and let it set first and then you are going to using a crystal clear So I'm creating the background first and then we'll go right into our 40 gels and using uh, 3D flowers using 40 gels. So I have from the shiny to the matte. And now you can using your crystal clear just so it needs a little bit. You don't need to get it saturated. It's like really, really wet. And make sure you have one piece of papers here. Um, I'm doing well. Thank you so much, Mama Biggs. Hi, Sheila. Oh, no, no, you got your sweetener. That's awesome. So I am going to dab it in just a little bit. I don't need a whole lot of crystal clear. You don't want it to be like soaking wet or saturate your design just get little and keep in mind each of the background is different it doesn't um this doesn't have to be identicals so excited to have everyone today so i'm not sure who is working along with me let me know or thumbs up if you are going to do you don't have to do this background i just want to get fun with this one uh, but if you are ready like or prep the nails with the solid color so then we can do a 40 gels
this one we're doing it two colors you can do one color if you like to um, add the fusion link at the background too if you just want to wait for the flowers definitely Yeah, this one I'm not gonna put any veins on it's already kept for cute veins and we are going to create this some um, vein right there you see that how much I remove um, the pigments to the paper right here because you don't want this to be back into the crystal clear because that is a crystal clear but every time I clean it make sure you clean it right in you know wipe it off on the paper before you put it back in all right so I am going to apply the no white top coat let it set and we are going to do no wipe top coat because we are going to put some flowers on this one. We are going to work all through all the nails. And then if anyone's work along with me. Yeah, it's just that for, um, I do this two color for like a St. Patty's with the green and orange. It's just fun. I know it's just like a more like a fall colors. So no white top coat. Because when we apply the flowers on, just in case that you need to not uh like any of the petal you can definitely take it remove it and uh re scripting it again top coat here for 60 seconds you okay sensation hello vicky how are you Oh, Shaina, walk along with me. Fabulous. Okay. That's gonna be awesome. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm so excited. So let's get see what we having in here. And you can using a little alcohol to clean your your silicone um, 3d duo and brush but you don't need to saturate your um, gels at all I'm so excited let me get this This one is completely dry. All right. So I'm gonna do this. So Jasmine and KTC, what you guys wanna do is, yep, so either Nessie gonna get to that eventually, or go to our video library and either tap in gel painting of 5d gel we have a tons of tutorial we show you guys how to work with the material how to best handle them and what the best you for jasmine um you can dm us i will send you the link for the video what did you have did you have the um, did you have the gel painting in the bottles or do you have the gel painting part they're both really cool and it's really easy to work with. I'm gonna do that one for one second. We'll do each flowers, we're doing just three petals. Mobile Beauty. 
Uh, I need one of this stone paste. This one's up there or the other ones? I think it's the other ones with the white frame is still there, Nay. You can get it. And then. Yep, she got the bottle. Oh, the bottle is even fun to work with. So this one really simple. It's not like sticky to your hand at all. It's really cool. You can get a smaller portions and you can roll it smaller because we are going to use this as a um, leaf for this. I just want to stay in the theme of uh, St. Patty. And it's really cool. This is whatever you don't want and you don't use. You can always put it back in. All right, so we have everything ready. I just didn't want to do it first. I want to do it with you. So it's next here. Are you working with me? I know China thumbs up and she working uh, with me. Anyone's are uh, working. I see. Huh? Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's so excited. I can't wait to see it. All right, so make sure you close this. If you're working a little bit longer times with your clients, make sure you key, uh, you key it, for, um, you close it. So then you won't um, key it. So are we ready? Yes, ready to go with the uh, 40 flowers. And if a lot of you are really worried about like, um, is the centers i am going to put then a little centerpiece in here first so then that way usually you see me do a flower first and i put centerpiece but i am going to do a centerpiece for you so then that way we can using a centerpiece and got it from there going to need just a little bit of condensed glue gels. I'm gonna do really slow so then you all can follow. Okay. And place top coat on. Right there. My a uh, super cute purse. I think just drop it. Can you grab it? I need that one. I just dropped my 4D brush, like 3D brush. So super cute from a matcha from super cute is baby mix jars. Quick flash here. Oh, the fusion in is like it's glow in the um, LED lights. How's everyone doing today? Happy Thursday. I'm so excited. We're going to do some fun nails today together. Nick's walking along with me. All right, so let's get started. It's good, set, ready? So we are gonna do is one petals here, one petals here and one here. It's like, look like you all create the triangle. So get started with one. If you are not sure, definitely you can place three of them first, okay? And then you can start sculpting it. All right, so we'll place three of them and I don't need any alcohol at all. Press down, release. Press down release is so easy and it's so flexible. It's just like you're playing a play doh. Easier than that. 
I don't know how the plates are gonna stay on, but this one is just using, because it's special designs for our 40 gels, so then it's have the angles perfect for it, then you don't even have to worry uh, to worry about press it um, enough. So just just really light touch. You don't have to be really heavy handed. You don't want to be prepped it to the point is so flat. Why so bright on this one? You can't even see the crease on that. I am going to place that one here. So don't worry if you have your brush, your silicone just feel like really sticky. Don't worry, just wipe it off with alcohol. Just don't dip it in and put it in the flowers uh, in the 40 gel. Just wipe it completely, let it dry, and then you can work on it. Using the tip and pull the petals a little bit. And you can do the same, the other one. Same thing. And press it down. Do the same thing with this. Do you want to press it, but you don't want to be too, too um, thin. And now when you get the three of them together, you are going to adjusting it. adjusting it and you can also flash key if you want to all right quick flash key It's so soft to use though. In fact, it's like really flexible and it's would not key until you are completely key under LED lights. Quick, good. So now you can definitely continue again. Really simple, you wanna doing another. So I'm just doing it like a two, three petals and then two layer. You can definitely do that, but I really want, I really want to do is like a green on the top of it. See how it's gonna turn out. Really curious. I want this one instead of the orange. This one, and then now with the second layer, you are going to place it right between your two petals. And then press it down and release. 
So this is one of the easiest way you do the center first. Usually for me, I do all the flower first and then I add the centerpiece in. But um, Vicky will request to see the one that's in the centerpiece. So you find the way that you like it work the best for you if you feel like it's better for you to get your centerpiece first. You can definitely do it. Or if you want to do the flower first, like my always doing a flower first and then using place a centerpiece, a crystal placement or the pearl later. What's really cool about this is you don't like it, you definitely can roll it back up and create it again. Just really gentle touch, you don't want to press it too thin. Also, I just really like this one, it's fun. So you can do the flower first and then centerpiece, so you can do a pearl first. I mean, any centerpiece, any crystal you would like to. Gonna be really fun and simple. Great, so then now I'm gonna do a quick flash key. Quick flash key. I'm going to do this on a tiny, tiny one. Cut in half and do a really tiny one. So I'm gonna do three of them and tiny one. And on this one, we are going to do smaller than that. We're going to do three petals first. I am keep doing it, but if you work on the first flowers, it's work great too. I'm keep doing it so then that's why we have time. You have time to adjust in your flowers as you wish. Option, you can get the second flowers. You can let the Press it down. Do another one. Same thing, so if you want your petal to be smaller, then you pick up your smaller beads, make it smaller. It's feel really good doing with this flower though, because I know hard to explain. It's so easy. I mean, how do I say it's so soft and it's so easy to sculpting with this? Don't press it too hard and don't try not to do it too hard. Just take it a little bit easy and use the tips. Of your silicone uh, 3D dual brush and guide it. And this one, I'm gonna flash key here, quick. How's everyone doing? I'm gonna do this one smaller.
Oh, watch out. Oh my god, I miss so many of your. Hey, Laura, nail art. Oh, I don't know. So we have that one. This one is. We have something similar. This one it was a. It was a, a while ago. Or hopefully we we'll get it in like back in the stock. Keep checking. When I have it, I will uh, definitely gonna let you know. I'm gonna put it right on this side. And then this, I mean the stone, the stone is, will be, hopefully we're back in the stock soon. It's a natural stone, so everybody really like it. Like, And just a smaller one. I'm not sure if this one will fit, but hopefully. I know this one is just stone, it's just like cool. It just have I can put uh, different colors on it. Of the crystals or Just a little bit because the smaller edges I don't want to get it hangs off on that. Now I flash key it. Oh, <laughs> I'll definitely gonna keep you posted when it in. As the stock, Laura, stay tuned. This one is really fun to work with. All right, so I'm gonna put it on the sides because we might need it again. I have a next one, so we can keep that one. So this is like really dramatic, like for all of you who is just want so much. Uh, like lots going on in the background and then I want to do another one and we're gonna do crystal placements later but today we'll be doing it more in the 3d and using a 4d gel for a lot of you have question it is so cool and so stunning with your first start with the 3d flowers this is gonna be really cool and it's gonna be your bestie all right, so, and later I'm gonna do some crystals along right here and then going down here, here, and here. Yeah, definitely, Laura. Hello, Slay Queen. Hi, Nene. Hi, Cass. All right, so it's good. Is that good? How everyone doing right now? I really like that one. First one. Let me do right on the white so then you can see nothing but the white. Maybe we should do clovers. We should do it, huh? Let me do see if I'm gonna make a clover for you. Hi, April. Hello. Thank you so much for tuning in. 
All right, let's get tiny four little beads. And we're gonna do it like crops like this. One, two, you can do a straight, you know, tops. And on the bottoms, I'm going to do with a little bit angle. And then we can start with this first. Flat it first, just using the tips and flat it first. Same thing with this. Just a smaller bead this time. It's about a size of, um, if I pick the beads, it's about the size of SS, um, about size of SS, let me bring it over here, about SS 10. And put it right here, like a SS 10. It looks bigger, but actually it's about SS10 or SS12 should be a good um, good size. To spread it out first. Hi Corey, hello, how are you? So now I'm going to flatten it using my tips of the brush. Right? Hey, Isabel and now we are going to using the tips of the silicone and then just kind of a cut right in the middle to make the shape of the heart. Do it the same thing with the rest of them. If you feel sticky on this one, don't worry. Using alcohol and sprays in the piece of your papers. Wipe off the tips. And then now you can work it again. There you go. Same thing with this. You can continue doing the same things using the tips and kind of a separate right on the top, out on the tips. Yes, Corey, you are correct. All right, so if I need just a little bit more, just a little bit, not much. It's really cool things about if you need more, you can take, you can add more. If you need to take it off uh, less, I mean take less, you can definitely do that as well. So this is like 
really easy i promise if you feel like you are like oh my god nancy why you said it's so easy and it's not give yourselves like one time again even after today we are playing and practice try it again just important key don't use alcohol and dip it in the brush in the alcohol just wipe it off as you need it to clean the um residues of tacky on the silicone because sometimes is the 40 gel will stick on the silicone you want to just clean that but you don't want to add uh, the alcohol on this because it's gonna go into dissolving your gels as the alcohol is really really hot and it will definitely going to destroy this so now you can work and justify your clovers. I'm using the tips and make it modify for the clover. You can continue to you can continue to do like the rest of them. Ta da and then do the same thing. So now I'm gonna do it like One more. So is everybody follow along? Okay. Supposed to be fun, so let me know how's you doing. I can do another one. Just roll it and get smaller size. I would say about size SS8 of a crystal. All right, let me do another one. China, how are you doing? Horrible? What happened? Are they going the way you want it? I want to keep it like in the center a little bit. Just don't, just don't use a lot of alcohol. I think don't use alcohol at all. So was yours is come out saying like a clovers or your is come out is um, keep me posted I'm gonna do the same thing just flatten it a little bit and release you know if you will press it down and then release hi Isabel thanks so much for tuning in You are doing a walk along. It's 40 gel today. I'm just doing it it's like a smaller petal. Spread it out. Spread it first. Then you can draw the, have a little like, look like you draw a little heart. Spread it out first. Are you so talented? So what you want to do is you want to go to your account, log into your account on our website. And on that, during in the subscription box menu, you should be able to change all that, yeah? And 
then I'm going to using it after I'm flatten it. I'm going So if all of you who are working alongs, I am doing is number 25, the white um, background. And apply no wipe top coat. Then I place with the 40 gel. China, you can do with uh, solids, solid flowers. You can do just the flower. Do what you feel like. Don't um, get frustrated because if we doing it too much, it might becomes um, it might get a little bit of a melting for you. One and then two and then three and then four. Get another one. When I feel my is getting like a little bit sticky. Trust me, keep going. If you are doing your first one you didn't like, go to the second one that I just did. And then let me know how's you doing. You see that I'm like very, really like touching a little bit. I don't do too, press too hard on it. Press, let's go, and press, let's just go. Great, so we are going to cure this. This looks really cool. How's everyone doing? We're supposed to make this fun. Don't uh, stress out because we're going to do a lot of practicing together as well. <laughs> when you press down, Thank you, Nesnil. When you press down, instead of you press it out, now you press it in. Um, Nick, don't give up. Try it again. Try once. You are, um, instead of you press it down, and then you're going to push it back in because you're going to create like have a heart shape for your clovers. Really cool. I'm so excited. We'll leave it alone like this or we'll do something else. I want to do something else just a little bit along like with that. Let me see what we're going to do. We're probably going to get these two colors and dress it up with using the um, using a uh, blossom gels. Just a little bit. This is number seven, neon uh, orange, and number ten is neon green. So I'm gonna using the dot two. And sew it together and I'm using a blossom gel ok 
because this one I keyed already. I'm going to just make a little bit. around with them. You don't have to get all of them. Just a little bit. Oh, nice. So it's the crystal set. That is so stunning, Jasmine. I'm excited to see your beautiful creation. All right, so I am going to using a tune tip brush, but on the other end. All right, so how everyone doing today? I feel like China was say horrible earlier because it didn't turn out. So I wanna see how's everyone doing so far. And let it spread in. And Nick said, give up. So don't give up. Just do it with me. Nick. It's easy to give up then and just keep going. So I'm gonna continue with you ladies. So if you need to try another one, you can. I'm just using a tinted brush because I don't want, I just want just a little bit. Of my marble look. And it spreads really cool for me though. You're happy with this? I just apply just a little bit of blossom gels and then that's how it's only spread wherever I apply. Alright, here for 60 seconds. Oh, Pandora, that's awesome. Hey, thanks so much, you Nick's Nails. Thank you, Nay. Thank you, Jasmine. Hey, good, Pandora. Let me see if I miss any anyone comments. Ah, <laughs> China Clover's not for me. Okay, that's okay. Just look at like leaf. I did this one too. I did the first one just like how is regulars and then we can do the other one so today we'll do two nails so everybody gonna really have fun and is you ladies like uh, China's and uh, Nick's the lady working on it are you ready to show it to me what did you create I'm excited I have this one from my sub box, March sub box. I'm gonna see what I can do with this. Because I'm really obsessed with this. And it's a theme, St. Patty theme. Uh, if I can find my tweezers. Can you go get my tweezers for me? I think, why is that at that? And as I look at this, I really like, ta-da, you can add more. You can add good luck or good luck or lucky days. Lucky day looks good. Also good luck this looks good too. I know, they all look super cute.
Who said tweezer? The ask Mimi. The tweezer, the pink one. I used to have two of them here. Thank you. Let me get lucky days or good luck. Lucky days are really fun. Either one is cute. I'm placing right on the top of my blossom gel. Oh, it looks super adorable. You know what? It looks like a rainbow, though. I hope I don't want. I hope I don't make anyone's fall to sleep. <laughs> but I'm have so much fun with this because. It's bright colors and for St. Patty's and I got to use my sub box. I'm so excited because there's a lot in that sub box. So I'm going to do another one. Like, yeah, let me move it here. Make another one, smaller one. I got this for my sub box too. You know? All right, so we are going to add some beads on this and then some beads on this. Now we're good to go. With condensed glue gel. Thank you, thank you everyone. Hey, new look. Hey, Shanik. Tyra, thank you. I'm going to do using my dot two instead of my tin tip brush because I want to be just right here. Don't want to using it too. And then just top coat all over it. Not on the 40 gel, but top coat all and tie the nails. If you want crystals on all of them, on this nails, you will definitely can add. The crystal on, I mean the condensed glue gels, and then crystal. This one though. Dot a little bit here, a little bit here. I was going to add some beads on. And add two or one. It's up to you. Don't want to just leave it there. And then here. Oh, crystal. Looks like really St. Patty. I love that. And this one, we're gonna add maybe some um, gonna add some uh, opal. 
but I'm going to using my dot two and add just a little bit of crystal here. Instead of my tincture brush, I could use my tincture brush, but I don't want to get it into the area smaller like this. And apply it very thin. And then no white top coat. This feel like a little bit, uh, this content today is so fun to do, but I hope I won't make everyone having a difficult time because if you can't practice, will definitely show me when you are finished. Draw the paper. Right on. Huh? No, small piece of paper. Yes, um, Slay Queen, the Dragon Scale has come in the individual jars as well. Not on the last draw. Last one. I am going to apply this really cool, just like green opal. And continue you don't have to do all the nails but you want to then you definitely can this option And then next one. So in this case, I do uh, crystals and I do beads and I go back to do crystals and then I go back to beads. So I do one bead instead of two. There's one thing that I forgot. If just in case you forgot, here is going to be your bestie. You can squeeze this right in the center of the cute flowers and put some crystals on it. Put it like you can put the SA3 in there, it looks super cute. Or you can do beads. You do what you like. I know, I love it too, Slay Queen. Thanks so much, Tyra. So now we are going to cure for 60 seconds and precision glue, and we are good to go. So 
super adorable. Look at this now we did. Today we'll focus on like some more in um, S4D gels. And I'm going to here and using precision glue gels since i have it on my hand i don't have to take the cap off because i just did it cap off okay this one is easy because you don't need a lot it's to get just the beads only but whenever you have the crystal goes crystal more you can definitely All right, everyone, how is everyone doing? Because it feels like, oh, it's too hard or too intense, Nancy. Let's do something fun. So are you ready to do some uh, crystal placement, relaxing instead of really intense? Thumbs up for me because I want to do some things for you. It's okay, Nancy, we're done. <laughs> it feels like. Oh my god it's horrible with the flowers but you know it's a concept so we definitely definitely can do so many with this and then keep practice and you can send a picture to us um to under good success and such i can definitely assist you and then work with you along with you so then you could able to get it perfect of yours um flowers your clovers or whatever you are practice on oh my god okay <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Brazil. That's so awesome. You finished shaping your nails. Great. Yours are okay. Okay, so Pandora, you are practicing along with me. It's good. Okay. Great, great, great. So, now let's do some fun nails. Instead of... Oh, I have... Not bad at all. It's really cool and it's kind of a... It looks like a rainbow though. That we did with the it's really cool i'm really obsessive with this i have to be honest um let's do some fun design uh i'm gonna go in and use this because sim i really like that one Keep going back to this. I like it a lot. I'm gonna apply the. I have the white nails here. I am going to apply um, chanfer foil, premium I hold chanfer foil. And then we are going to do number 15 foil box. I'll untie the nails. All right, here for 30 seconds. When you're using a premium eye hold shampoo foil gel, you only need to care for 30 seconds under 48 watt of your um, LED light. Oh, more flowers. I'm really upset with it. I don't know. This one is really cute though. It came out really nice and cute. like remember it's one of the rainbow ones and I can't find it it's okay we are going to
I'm finding the good spot and I'm, before I'm laying it down for you. I think this will be a really good spot. right there. I just want to get this. And then press it down. So then, now I'm going to do some cool design for you. I have this, a chandelier. I'm so obsessed with that. And then I have the short for my baby mix jars on my sub box. And, oh my gosh, so beautiful. Okay. Let's get started with the condensed blue gel first. And apply and tie the nails. I just want a cute little hints of a, of a holos on the nails and no wet top coat. Awesome. So and I also have a little frames here on my side. And this time I am using the um, chandelier. It's in gold colors. You can move down just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to do this one right there. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing so far? Close one. This frame, you can find it from the um, silver and a gold frame. Oh, Bellis, I can't wait to see your nails. You just like hold and tie the set with 3D flowers. That is so amazing. Easy, easy. Hold on. Uh, where's my... 
can you get this one open? Oh, sorry. I'm gonna add Green opal. Is everybody doing good? I feel like I'm quiet today, though. Just don't fall to sleep on me <laughs> like Vicky. Vicky, like, Vicky, get up, you can't fall to sleep on me. bars I want it right there so here's how I create a lot of different look it's really fun and simple you just get the centerpiece first which is in this case my centerpiece is my chandelier and then I add, I add the short shape on and using your frames along with this this is really fun to help you create so many different design, dramatics, exotics, however you would like. And don't limit up what you want to do. And I'm going to add more beads and along with between the crystals if you want to. It's kind of really bright, vibrant, and then it's also a saddle at the same time. And I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. Quick, but flash gear first, because I'm gonna add some things on that. Um, pick up my condensed glue gels. Just add just a little right here in this two spot. Can you wipe it off for me? And then no wipe top coat. You can coat and tie the charm too. I'm going to coat it all completely. Because I'm not doing it right on the top of the crystals, but on the top of the charms, which is the chandelier, definitely you can. You should just shoot because it's keep them from getting tarnished and especially it's protect it last longer. Right. Now I'm going to kiss again. Hey Dom.
Always hope everything's well, Jasmine. Hey, Dom. All right, so we have this two, first one and a second one. That's a faith right here. Which one is your faith? Cool. That's amazing. Great. A lot of amazing people and support. Thinking of you, Jasmine. I'm gonna using pre-season glue gels and seal on the top of the frame. So we already did it with the top coat and going on the edges. all the edges and you can co cover on the top of the frame but not on the top of the crystals hi icon cells thank you so much okay I'm so glad you joined with us Jasmine Okay, so another similar is chandelier you can create with. Thank you, Jasmine. Hope is make your day. Just hope it's gonna, you know, all the designs I do is gonna brighten your days and supporting you throughout the difficult times. You know what? Just keep remember that God never challenge you more than you can handle so stay strong and we'll be here support you okay so this is it's the same chandelier but then you can create so many different look and i'm using i think is this one number six aqua i think from acrylic powder thanks so much jasmine all right so you can change this one to green it's gonna make it really cool scent patty nails so definitely you can do any colors any colors just keep in mind it's a concept you can when you're changing different colors they're gonna turn it to a different theme for you so and that is three of them so next one, I have the white one. So what would you like to see? The last one, dragon scales or blossom nail, blossom gels with the uh, roses. Oh, should we do green roses? That's gonna be amazing. Dragon scale, I can sell. I can I can hear that again. Nancy do dragon scale. Definitely. Alright. So let's go in with dragon scale and I'm going to using condensed glue gels. I'm gonna take these two colors and really thin coat of condensed glue gel. You don't need a lot. Little go a long way. And don't forget to do a top coat over and it's got to be no white top coat so if you have a uh, top coat with still have the um, tacky layer then you have to make sure you wipe it off the tacky layer after you're done but it's not going to I'm not sure it's going to get it the good results like if you're doing it no white top coat because the 
And the wet top coat and condensed glue gel, they are so compatible together. All right, floating on the top, don't want, try to drag it so um, heavy, then it's definitely going to contaminate your condensed glue gel. So floating only is will definitely does a lot of um, work. So I'm gonna create the spine first. And then when you see the little halos like uh, like on the other end, you don't want that. You want to have the raise up. Let me do this. I want to do back and forth, back and forth. Going from a green to kind of a coral orange. Do the same thing. Same thing for this. If you can't see that it's not gonna move for you, just give a little shake. Because easily it's gonna just free the right um, end for you. So if you want to practice like with dragon scales, again, there was a video from last week I was doing step by step. It's really stunning, it's really fun to play with that. So let me one frame. Do another smaller one. I'm gonna every time I do with dragon scale, I always start with the spine, spine first, and then so that way you get ideas of you can uh, place them instead of really get confused and you might get them a little bit. Uh, Sure, I say hi to everyone. Hi, Corina. And another simple one. Like that one. So now your option you can do is A B or you can do is um green purple. I'm gonna do green opposing. You know, I really obsess this with this, but you can do A B. You can do. I'm sorry. Here you go. How's everyone doing now? Is that feeling good so far? Because we are doing a difference like, oh my gosh, practice on it, so cool. But I need more time to practice, definitely. I absolutely going to be here, be patient with you and practice with you. I need another. This one's going to be down. This one's gonna be up. Might be too long. Choose 
silver. I can do silver, looks so cute as well. Oh, I like that. You can do it with the frame or without frame. You choose absolutely. Lock that in with my opal. Lock that in with my opal. Lock it in with my opal. Looks like that, I know, right? So cool. It's cool, Serena. I was thinking of that too, it looks super cute. Gotcha. All right, so I'm going to key this under the LED light for 60 seconds. I can go on and on about this one. I'm so obsessed with this. Here's the picture. Here's your dragon scale. I still have a whole jar of my Jar. You go on the side. Let's peel it off. my cap i'm gonna put the leads back on awesome let me take a look swipe it off take your lay off and then it's really cool it's really dramatic it's simple and easy and simple i'm gonna check along with the with the um precision glue on the edges of the frame and the charms hello everyone thanks so much for tuning and to glitter sister in such light tutorials. I'm going to check on this, not with, uh, and then make sure you don't cover on the top of dragon scale. We are going to do it right on around the dragon scale and you can apply it on the top of um frames charms and metal beads i really want to use it tomorrow the cute flowers for my sub box so i'm definitely gonna do that tomorrow for us Just everyone is ours working along with me and want to show your nails. Uh, anyone's finish? Hey Adela, hi Corina, hi Skyla on Facebook.
Hi, Corina. Let me see if I miss anyone. Jennifer. Thank you so much, Jennifer. All right. to make you. DM did it, yes. Um, we do have a lot of uh, different kits ready with so many different designs. We have so many kits, like uh, four or five different kits to choose from. And you can go and search on either in categories kits or you can go in on the uh, new arrivals. Here yeah, I'm pinned the comments for the website for you. Hello, Jasmine. I've been, I've been, I've been to Jasmine. Good night, Nick. Hi, Buck and Billy. Next, we'll see you on the next live video. Awesome. Let's see what we get right here. I'm going to show you all four nails. It's fun to cover doing it. Um, Thank you so much, Mama Vic. Oh, you did two flowers and one clover. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Icon Sales. So hope you're really enjoying it. Does anyone so wanna show me your beautiful uh, flowers? I know Nick's couldn't, I'm not sure, China, so are you still there? What's that for? Hold on. I'm trying to move. This one. It looks cool. Sharanda said it looks like a boat house. It looks cool though. So let's recap this. I'm using this two color sweet orange from a 4D collection gel and then emerald to create this two look. Also using is a blossom gel to create a really cool looks of the orange and green. It looks like a rainbow though. And then the second, the, th the first one I did fusioning using a number 11's welcome hooks. And then is a thinking green. These two colors, this first one I did is this one and that. Just for all of us who are just tuning in. And then of course is the greens opal. And the second look, I did this really cool, just like simple. All of them I'm using a white gel polish number 25. It's pure white. And the second one I'm using that pure white. Also, I did use a numbers is um, 26 so emerald 40 gels to create it, it's a clovers. 
and also I did use a blossom gel and these two colors right here number 10 is neon green and number seven neon orange to create it's like a cover rainbows look and of course the stickers from my sub box it said lucky day to put the uh, little writings you know the script on it and that is two nails third one next okay we need a little bit break from that 40 that's so fun we did this number 15 foyer box and on the top of the pure white and i did all the crystal placement and chandeliers this one of the collections i like a lot is right here and it's coming a silver and a gold but i'm using gold chandelier this time and of course that i use that crystal neons from this as baby me jar from a subscription box this month that i opened it last week for you and the last one of course we're using is really fun dragon scale in these two colors the green and cover coral colors and some frame that's it that is really simple fun and easy i hope it won't be like really overwhelmed for everyone because i'm really enjoying it it's so stunning though it's like i'm not sure which one is your face you tell me what is your face i will tell you what my face Oh, thanks so much, Bellis. Okay. Perfect, China. Don't forget, I want to see your beautiful, beautiful flowers. Yes, Lake Queen, we are working on it because ours just, ours um, web master system doesn't have that option at all. Yet. I would say yes, they are offering it, they are introducing, so it's going by different categories in the e-commerce store. So definitely want to keep you posted two and four. Ah, that's just great. I like two and four too. Oh, thank you, Book and Billy. You like all of them. The green stone is your favorite. It's this one. It's supposed to be this one. Oh my gosh, Dom, you want to change your nails. You just got your nails done, maybe last week. But hey, your nails, as long as you like it, you enjoy it, go for it, Dom. I'm with you. You like your dragon scale, your last one. I like that too. I know I like them all. I don't know, I kept like this. This too is my, I don't know why, because I like those so bright colors. Bright colors only attract me. But this one is really cool. This one is cool and different, unique. And this one is like all cool with dragon scales. You know, when you're changing from this, the straight bar to the curls one is even looks really good as well. So it just depends on how you like it. And you can put them in. <laughs> that's, but that's good though. It mean that is is you are happy, so everything is great. You know that you're seeing like nails with fun and is an art. So I'm so glad. I'm so happy. You ladies and gentlemen and everyone's enjoying happy with this. So if you can't show me your nails now, you can definitely take a pictures. I'm definitely definitely love to see your beautiful work. And I know today is like oh my gosh. Why Nancy? Why 40? But we're going to continue to working on it. If you feel like it's not really perfect today, keep practice today. And we're going to do another practice together and along. So then we can get the 40 down with so many different designs. This one, it looks like a floating house. 
thing? I think so. It looks cool though. Oh, that's good. That's awesome, Jasmine. I'm going to let everyone see. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to DM us or email us at info at glimpsesessoryandsuch.com. I've been missing all of you. I feel like I'm seeing everybody every day, but I was missing a lot of you. I can't wait to see how our BAs with different uh, content they're going to create it. I can't wait. Can't wait. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in today. I had such a great time. I don't know. It's just really cool and really different. And I can't wait for the next live videos. We're probably going to do liquid and powders. Uh, let me know what you want to see and what you want to learn so we can do it liquid and powders ombre again I can always shame with the ombres and um, It's encapsulate and marbling because Everybody have a different way to do liquid and powders is one of the way I share so I hope it helps, you know So thanks so much, Danny. Thank you. Thank you if you ladies doing it and you can't show me, definitely fine. You can um, take a pictures and I would love to see your beautiful works. Thanks so much for work along with me. I can't wait to see you in the next live videos. And uh, tomorrow, Friday, I can't wait. It's already Fridays. I can't wait to do another live tutorial with all of you. And I will see you tomorrow. Please take good care of yourself and your family. Make sure you uh, eat, drink, and get some sleep, okay? So I will see you in the next live videos. It's great, okay, with butterflies. Okay, let me see. Hold on. Um, let me read it quick. Yes, Sheila, please take a picture. That's awesome, Aika. Uh, it's so awesome to hear. Uh, good. Can you do a gel painting in the tube? In the gel painting in the bottles? Sure. Definitely. You can do so many different cool uh, gel painting in bottle and then I can also send you the link as well and also Brazil's at Palace now did really cool is gel painting as well um Sharenda did it too and Dom does it as well so I can't wait but I'll send you some uh, really cool videos for you to watch as well thank you CC thank you let me say thanks to every single of you here thank you Bellis, thank you, China. Thank you, Dom. Thank you, Shay. Thanks, Sharenda. Thank you, Mama Vic. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you, Cece. Thank you, Nay. Luxury tips. Um, thank you, Corey. Thanks, Pandora. Thank you, Bert and Billy. Thanks, Icom Cells. Thank you, Jasmine. Um, Annie, Annie Lish. Thank you so much. Everyone, I have a, such a great time to create the design today and I hope you're really enjoying it. And I will definitely going to see you in the next live videos. In the meantime, please take good care of yourselves and your family. And I will see you in the next live videos. Bye-bye. And oh. Quick before I'm end is on a lot of questions asking for the class and I was didn't get to answer on the DM. The note pass it on for me. The class is going on in March, which is next month on the twenty I believe twenty first and twenty second. So if you have any question regarding to the class, don't hesitate to DM us or email us at info at glitz accessory and such and we only accept limited seats only to take care of you know all the student is um as you know as much as possible so then that way we can get really good hands-on so much 21st and the 22nd so if you have more questions definitely let us know and you can able to check out the links on our in our bios and under the class categories 
And don't forget to check out the sub box too because the sub box is something you definitely want to go. It's as long as low as $24.99. You can own the really fun snail art sub box. And each month we feature one product. And this month with the features is 5D gels. It's really cool. And next month even it get better. And the next month's gonna even better and better. So I can't wait to create some more content and uh, doing a lot of fun designs with your sub box or trailer box and a lot of products. So definitely we'll see you in the uh, next videos with gel painting. And I saw we're asking uh, with butterflies. Sky nail themes would be cool. Okay, sounds really good. We're definitely gonna do a lot of fun nails together. The land. I will see everyone tomorrow. Bye-bye.